This topic provides an introduction to the Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or ET. It shows you how to set up your preferences, hook up the communication adapter, connect and disconnect from the data link, and how to exit the Caterpillar Electronic Technician. For this example, we will demonstrate setting up preferences prior to connecting a personal computer, or PC, to the communication adapter or machine. Start by launching the Electronic Technician software from the Start menu. The CAT Electronic Technician window displays and attempts to connect to the Electronic Control Module, or ECM. If the electronic technician installed on your PC has not been licensed, you will be prompted by a message window that gives you the option to license the software. If you choose not to license the software, you can only use the functions that do not require a data link connection. The electronic technician will attempt to connect to an ECM. Remember, for this example, we are not connected to a communication adapter. You can click the Stop Connect button to continue, or ET will time out and display another window. The electronic technician will attempt to connect for several seconds. If it does not locate an ECM, it will display a window prompting you that it could not establish a connection. For this topic, we will click the Cancel button. However, if you were actually trying to make a connection, you would check your cable connections and make sure the machine is turned on. Then click the Retry button to establish a connection. The CAT Electronic Technician window displays. Let's begin by setting preferences for the software and hardware connections. The preferences that can be set are the communication interface device and ports, the directories, languages, and non-critical confirmation messages. To access the Preferences screen, choose Preferences from the Settings menu. The Preferences window displays. This window displays four tabs from which you can set various preferences. The tabs are Communications, Directories, Regional, and Confirmation. The Preferences window displays automatically the first time you launch CAT ET after installing it. For this topic, we will only discuss the Communications Preferences tab. You use Communications tab to tell ET which communication interface device and the communications port you are using. You need to select the communication interface device you are using from the drop-down list box. You also need to specify the port to which you will be connecting the communication device. For this topic, we will change the port selection to COM1. COM1 is the default port and the most commonly used port. Advanced preferences are available by clicking the Advanced button. If you need assistance with the Advanced Communication Preferences, refer to your User's Manual or use CAT ET Online Help by clicking on the Help button or pressing the F1 key on the keyboard. When you are finished changing preferences, click the OK button. Once the preferences are set, you need to exit the electronic technician software and make sure that your communication adapter is properly connected. To close the electronic technician software, choose Exit from the File menu. A message window displays prompting you to verify that you want to exit. Click the Yes button to exit the software. The Communication Adapter 2 connects between the service connector on the Caterpillar product you are testing and your PC.
If the service connector is powered when you have the communication adapter 2 connected to the data link, the power light on the communication adapter 2 will glow. When power is first applied, the communication adapter 2 performs a diagnostic test for a short period by sequentially turning on all of the lights for a few seconds from the bottom to the top of the front panel. You need to install the communication adapter 2 software onto your PC. The communication adapter 2 installation software is on the same CD as CAT ET. You need to connect your communication adapter to your PC. Align and attach one end of the serial cable to the PC cable connection on the communication adapter 2. Connect the other end of the cable to the serial port of your PC. After you have connected the COM adapter to the PC, secure one end of the data link cable you have chosen to the data link connection on the communication adapter 2. Secure the other end of the data link cable to the diagnostic connector on the product you wish to test. If the data link is accessed, the power light on the communication adapter 2 will glow and the self-diagnostic test will begin. If for some reason the communication connection is not established, check each of the cables to make sure the physical connections are secure and retry. Now you have access to the data link through your communication adapter too. Once all of the cables are securely connected, you can restart the electronic technician and begin communication through the data link. Select Caterpillar ET from the Programs menu, then select Electronic Technician from the sub-menu. The CAT Electronic Technician window displays and attempts to connect to the ECM. A connection screen is displayed while CAT ET is attempting to establish communications with the data link. If the attempt to connect fails, CAT ET will provide suggested steps for correcting the problem. If one ECM is found, the ECM summary window is displayed. If multiple ECMs are found, an ECM selector window displays. For this topic, three ECMs are found. You need to choose the ECM you want to work with by selecting one from the list and clicking the OK button. The ECM summary window displays. This window provides useful information regarding the ECM and CAT ET. This window can be accessed by selecting ECM Summary from the Information menu item or by clicking on the ECM Summary toolbar item. Notice there is information regarding available ECMs, data gathered from the ECM, and CAT ET information on this screen. Printing is available from this screen by pushing the Print button. To disconnect from the data link, click the Disconnect button on the toolbar, press the F8 key on the keyboard, or choose Disconnect from the data link menu. You still have access to some CAT ET functions when disconnected, but your access is very limited. When you have completed your work session within CAT ET, you can exit the application by selecting Exit from the File menu, press the F9 key on the keyboard, or click the Exit the Application button on the toolbar. A message window displays prompting you to verify that you want to exit. Click the Yes button to exit the software. This concludes the topic, Getting Started. Click the Play button to view this topic again, or click on the Menu button to return to the main menu.